Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a movie reaction. And this is one I've been waiting to do for a while, right? It's called Dead Man Shoes. To be honest with you, I just heard about this film. Like, it was a couple of years ago, but like years after it was made, right? It was like, it, it totally flew in my radar. Like I said, a lot of times in the UK, we look to America for like, films and TV shows and media and stuff like that, right? We kind of sometimes overlook things made here or close to here, right? Europe, um, the UK, you know, we fetishize and we put a pedestal American content up here. So we, and I've heard this is sort of like a, a cult classic sort of thing. So I thought I'd wait and do it for, for this, right? And I finally... Go around to it. It took a while to find a decent copy of it, right? There's like um, really, really shit copies going around. And it took me a while to find a decent. That's a good copy. This is like, this is decent. So, yeah, as far as I know, I think I've seen clips of it. See, so you get them like clips of films on Facebook. In fact, I think that's where I first saw it, right? See the scene where there's a guy standing against a wall and the other guy kind of threatens him. And he ends up getting threatened himself. That's what I've seen, right? I, I'm not quite sure what it's about. I think it, it's these um, thugs are trying to intimidate this guy, and he's not got to be intimidated, right? I think that's about it. Uh, I think it's Shane Meadows, isn't it? The guy who made This Is England. So, you know, all good. All good. I'm sure it's got to be absolutely brilliant. I've heard it is. So, yeah, let's just. So in vain. Oh, that's bringing me back, it really does. So much car technology has improved like the last like 40 years. I guess all technology in the last 40 years, right? I had a helmet like that. I really did. Holy shit, that could have been my Christmas. Day one, six thirty AM. We'll forgive them. You'll forgive them and allow them into heaven. What a fucking shithole. Why are we I living here? Right, why are you living in a shithole? Like farm in the middle of nowhere. So face this is a black and white M um, the past. Is a block with the past, like memories or something. Is he um? Is he um mentally challenged? Is he? I don't even care the like the politically te correct term is these days. Things change so much, right? But he, so it's that's got to be guys taking advantage of him. Ooh. That's 15 for two or what? 15 for two? Game, the fuck you getting for 15 for two? Right, Can't we, mate? Sorry. The fuck are you looking at? Jack cunt. Mm. Mm. Little plastic gangster, eh? Yeah, he's off. He's out. He's gone. As soon as somebody fucking um, steps up to him. I was, um, I was the guy who was at the window, right? So he's a little foot soldier with absolutely no balls. And he's the, the, the bigger guy. Is this a little clubhouse thing? Hoo hoo. Ooh. I really I just lost the head there. I don't know what happened to me then. I, I just don't know what came over me. I'm so ashamed it was the wrong thing. Yeah. All right, on the bridge, water. Yeah. Let it flow. Look at me shitting it. Wow. Wow. I've got a feeling our apology was not genuine. It's crap. Fucking hell, I was in farm today, man. 
Listen, tough. We didn't farm. I'm listening, I'm listening. Doing me dealing, right? You know what I mean? Doing me dealing. About stuff. And as soon as I walked in, there was this fucking bloke having a, you know, having a bit of a butcher's at me. Went over and was like, like you know, do you want a fucking picture, man? What's going on? He was like, no. Nah. No, you were. He couldn't hardly speak. And then I says, listen, what the fucking hell are you looking at? Do you know what I mean? He goes, you, you cunt. Oh, he did, actually. Like, Get out. You are. Seriously, man. At least he's been honest to it, right? At least he's not trying to like, big himself up lying about the encounter. Do you know what I think it is? Hey. I've been racking my brains all bastard there. You know what I think yeah, it is? It's a local lunatic, isn't it? No. Boy, yeah. tough. Anthony's brother. Anthony's brother. So Anthony is the... It was Anthony's brother, man. Why is the, why is the mood changed? Oh, eh. Yeah. Fucking rock and roller. Rock and roller, that's the, that's the guy for rock and roller, right? Right? It is. Wow. Wow, what a transformation. Look at that guy, he's in his fucking 50s, eh? In his 50s, running about like a fucking teenager, right? It's weird in time today, one thing. See, our by the way. Who remembers them? The, the, the Thursday's going there, the fucking poppers. Remember them? Stupidest design ever. Stupidest design ever. Did anybody ever get anywhere without some dickhead pulling them open? You did. I certainly did not. You did? No, I didn't. And you cut it. I did ones with the zips, which was slightly like better. Answer. Slightly better. I'm going to it, anyway. it took a bit of more effort like to undo them. Long, uh, People still did, but. Like Bon Jovi. It wasn't as easy as the fucking yeah. poppers. I'm gonna to have to go back to town in a bit, mate, to sort some business out. Sort some business out. I don't want to go, Richard. Look at the state of them for. I say guys in their 30s, at least, at a minimum in their 30s, behaving like fucking kids. Come with a frying pan. He's got a frying to death. Come <laughs> with the ox, right? Fair enough, ox. Frying pan. So, there's a story. A few years ago, it started lockdown. Remember the COVID lockdowns, right? I went into town centre for an essential shopping trip. Essentials. Completely essential. Needed it. Essential. Ooh. Ooh, he's vandalising. He's stolen his drugs. He's stolen his drugs. Tough. Yeah, you're dead. Fucking hell, boys. Anyway, I'm walking through town centre. It's raining. It's always raining in this place. There's like a town square, but I, there's a guy in front of me walking down the street. This guy has got no shoes and socks on. He's wearing shorts. It's raining. A t shirt and a mask like that. Walking down the street. Bermuda shorts, t shirt, no shoes and socks, bare feet, in the rain, with a mask. Except his in had the long extended bit. Like the elephant shrunk. Sonny, mate, Summer's it. It's like an emergency, got to tell you Summer. Who banged on the fucking door, you? Hey, what's up here? Who banged on the door, man? Well. <laughs> Would you need to see that? Would you need to see that, like, in your vision? I'm not sure. I, I think you see that. I think you see his blackness. Put a few of these in. Yeah. Do you know why people give kids drugs? can control their minds because they're fucking weak-minded themselves. Look at that, mate. Fucking hell, that's acid. Uh, acid? Ooh, acid. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to give them a super like about acid. fucking dose. Um, I mean, I've heard of acid before. Well, I thought we had a deal, fellas. What do you mean, the deal? That's not us. Oh, we, we ain't done that. Yeah, Sorry, we came around me flat, man. He came around me flat. Do you think he, he thinks they would hear the balls to do that damn? Smash me lamp. Have you touched my game? Have you, have you been using my game, mate? Yes. Went out of the flat, left 
Have you been table. using? I'm yes. Not, I'm, not, I'm not asking you. I'm asking you. Have you been using the ring? Yes. No, I don't give a yes. fuck if you sell it. I don't touch it. Same. Well, Who's the elephant then? It, it, it's Anthony's brother, isn't it? It's Anthony's brother. So did they know Anthony's brother then? Is it sort of a small town where everyone knows everyone? Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. I did get us though, eh? Like, like, you're Mr. Big in the estate. All these dickheads are kissing your ass, but you're abusing him. For what? Prick. Fit Moxie feel big abusing this guy. It is. Suck my cock. Mr. Price, One, two. What is it? What do you want to play? Oh. Fucking hell, man. Jesus. The fuck is the need for that, you prick? Fucking piece of shit, honestly. We got absolutely no need for that. The guy's already scared of him. All these little fucking minions are kissing your ass. And yet you're getting your thrills. Abusing this guy. Come on, quick word of these three. Twice. What the fuck are you on about? Oh, you we had an agreement, no pissing oh, about. Right? Right? Hey, well, who's done that, you twat? Hey, hey, what's up, bloody funny, hey? It's hey, not just that. Five hundred quid, quid, I've got you, <laughs> twat. <laughs> Go down there, bro. That's the battle scene, I think. I think that's the battle scene in uh, like Facebook and stuff. Hey, man, how you doing? Rich. Hmm. You okay? Ain't shaking your hand, mate. Mm. Yeah? You know the lads had this ridiculous idea. That... Yeah, it was me. Oh, it was? Oh, it was. I thought so. <laughs> what are you up to? Where are you staying? Moxon's farm. Oh. Gonna come and see me over here. Maybe I will. Oh. He's actually told them where he's staying. You're not afraid of me, are you? You're making me very nervous, Richard. Well, you should be. If I were you, I'd get in that fucking car and I'd get out of here, man. And I'd gather them goonies and get whatever you've got and come with me. Because I'm gonna fucking hit you all. Hmm. I don't like being threatened, Richard. Holy shit. Threatening you, mate. It's beyond fucking words. I watched over you when you were asleep and I looked at your fucking neck and I was that far away from slicing it. Oh. You're fucking there, mate. Oh. So get in that car and fuck off. That's fair one, it, all right? That's some balls. You're telling where he stays and saying, You better get to me before I get to you. See what I get to it. See if you're into being a drug dealer. Like, okay, fine. Like, see if you're into being a drug dealer to get rich and to improve your life and make your life better. Like, whatever it is you want class cars, watches, clothes, money, wine and dine people. These fuckers are just kind of scraping a barrel. They're drug dealing, taking all these risks just to. Scrape along like, like shitty little parties and stuff, and that's the point of it. I absolutely don't see a point of that. Ooh, ooh, one down. Oh shit. So he's actually fucking murdering them. For what? What did they do to his brother, though? Like, Slapped him a bit. Okay. Look, a ridiculous car. The boy's head actually sticks out the fucking roof of it. Head. Right, his head. Again, Scottish lessons. Heed, head. It's a very complex ancient language with subtleties. But I'll keep yours right. Yes, use. You all. Yes, I think so. So he's been chosen, you've been volunteered, mate. Just can you knock on the door, it'll be fine, it'll be good. I'm sure he won't murder you with an axe. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. I looks like an air rifle, by the way. I looks like a fucking air rifle, I'm sure it's not. Surely. Pretendy drug dealers, pretendy thugs, pretendy gun. Wouldn't it be totally surprising, would it? 
If you shoot him, he goes, Oh, yeah, fucker. Who's? Mm. I've got money for you. You've got You fucking shot all you twat! He's just shot Alan. He's just shot Alan. Well, Alan's, Alan's been shot in the head. Alan's dead. Alan deserves it though, because Alan's a, a creepy cunt. Fuck you, Alan. Mate, you just committed murder, eh? Like, you just committed murder, bro. So you gotta run, you gotta run. That's probably a good idea, right? That's probably the best idea to, to run, I think. Big bad drug dealers though, right? Like fucking every every small town's got them, right? Like local thugs who have got up to no power outside of that area, right? If it's a famous sin, everyone's a gangster till a real gangster walks in the room, right? That describes these clowns perfectly. From six, we're down to three. No, you've got a little, you've got a little net. Thing is, with this little fucking thing, there's all you can't see. You got it, you know, mate. Just put it here. Yeah, and boys, look, little tip: if Sonny starts shooting, fucking duck. Ooh, ooh, he's in a hoot. I thought they were being paranoid. But he's actually there. So he's pouring the drugs into the the kettle, right? He's assuming. He's assuming they're gonna be drinking tea, right? It's a bit of an assumption, right? It? So, mate. All clear, boys. Yeah. You've searched the hoose. Well done. Good job. Tip top. Yeah. A mm. cup of tea to celebrate a house well searched. Okay. Is it a bath? Is there a bath with him? And he's taking a shit. Okay, why? Because they're scared to be left alone. They're all scared, so they're all got to stay with each other in the same room. They're cleaning the house. So what, Alan, if you want to wash them, you've got to make that to wash them. Oh, they're cleaning the house because they're, um, the drugs are taking effect. A little bit of amphetamine in your tea, does that to you? Oh, they're working out. They're working out. I'm just looking at Oh, they're working out. Ooh, ooh, he's up, he's up. Richard's up. Can he see him? He sees him, right? Does he see him? <laughs> oh, blue face, look at him, he's a blue face. So is he, um,. Making them like taking their senses away and then treating them like the treat his brother. It's always doing trying to make them like mentally the same as his brother, right? And then treat him like that. It's just what he's doing. Come on, Sonny, you'll be okay, mate. I promise you, you'll be fine. Come on, Sonny, you'll be good. Oh no, what is this? A bag. Oh god. Oh god, oh no, oh no, no. Oh. Is he just shot him just like that? Where you going? Where you going? Ooh. Oh, there's I see um palm strike him is that what they're saying? Which seems a bit bullshitty because he's got a gun, right? Got to, does that work? Does that really work? Open it. To open it. But I'll open it. Oh my god. It's a uh, tough. Does all this need to seem like overkill though? Like for abusing his brother. I get it. I get they, they abused him and stuff and they shouldn't have taken advantage of a disabled kid. But fuck me. That seems like massively overkill. There's one more. Yes, Richard. Who's that? Where is he? Yeah, mate, you're, you're a witness to the murders, but he's got to let you go. 
You let you walk, even though you witnessed all he's done. Pass it all off, Nazi. No, mate. Fuck it. Come here, man. Yeah. Like. Like, okay, I get it. They abuse them. They bully them a bit. They give them drugs. They give them alcohol. They give them girls. The swines, right? I told you it's an hour. Where have you been? The park. What's that? Ooh. Take it off. What are you doing with that on? Where'd you get that from? A soldier. What? A soldier. A soldier. What is that? A knife. Oh my god. I know it's a knife. What are you doing with a knife? A soldier gave us a soldier gave me. What do you mean a soldier gave it to you? You said you knew dad. Yeah. Soldier sent you a message. I know her from somewhere as well. But she and I know I her from you. somewhere. I know from some no, yeah. She has tooth. The lads, right? Oh, that's a shame. I'd actually talk like this, but a few months ago, I lost a tooth. And the dentists are absolute monsters. Monsters got to take me to get us fixed. It was supposed to be January. January was coming to an end. God knows. Hopefully soon. Right? Because it's bothering me. I'm sorry, can I ask your name again? My name's Richard. Your name's Richard. And. Um, I'm just tell him that you called And he's yeah. been completely honest with everyone, right? Be around anyway. Right, okay. Tell him Richard's Anthony's coming brother. from. Anthony's brother, right. Yeah. Anthony's brother yeah. Richard is coming from, right? Like, Sorry. fucking hell. And if you tell him, he's going to know what it's about. No, as soon as you left, he came. What, been inside? No, he didn't come inside. He was fine. He wasn't, he wasn't, um, he used to knock about with my brother years ago, Anthony. Hey, leave him alone. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> ho. What am I missing here? I'm missing something, right? I do know him. He does know him, right? Okay, aren't he? I know who it is. So why is he scared, though? Again, the bully's his brother. I get. Too simple to know what he was doing. He was. Except Richard went in the army. He was a simple kid. I all got in a van and we were dropping acid and... And Sonny gave him some... And I could see it was going wrong. I could see, I could see Anthony's face, and it was all. Our guy um, is playing so well, by the way. The acting in this is good, so good, especially Anthony. Did they kill Anthony? Is Anthony dead? Is that why he's murdering him? Because fuck me. Look at him just try to join in. No. Eh? I get that they're supposed to be a lot younger, right? But it's still grown men. You know. And I get the kind of recast for the past bits. But this must have only been a few years ago, right? It must have only been a couple of years ago. Or else Richard wouldn't have waited. Look at him, he seems like he's like um, genuinely more full. He doesn't know what he has, right? I was the last one. I, I, I could have stayed. I could have stayed. I could have kept with him. But everybody got back in the van. <laughs> Left him. I didn't want to leave him. At least he seems genuinely more full, right? Like he seems like he really means it. He killed himself. He hung himself. Did his wife make him sleep in the couch because of what he did? What he was part of? Would that be a long or a short car journey, do you think? Would you feel like it was a long car journey or a short one? Is that the place his brother died? Is he took him to the place he, his brother died? Because let's face it, they killed him, did they? Like, you could say suicide, but they fucking killed him. And he knows why you're here. Yo, why have I brought you here? Go on. Okay. This is where Anthony was. 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 So the hell only thing's been in his head. He's the only sort was like in his head. Share memory. Because he was a spastic. He 
wasn't a spastic. You fucking was a spastic. I cut my jaw. When you cut my tail, I don't put my jaw. It was, it was a fucking embarrassment to me. What did you do to this me? This is harsh, mate, isn't it? This is bad. What did you do? I actually feel sorry for this guy because, like, he genuinely seems remorseful. He's moved on, he moved away. I said you. What did you fucking do? Not them cuffs. What did you do? Yeah, they're all gone, mate. They're done. I didn't stop. They're all fucking dead. I executed them. And you're the last one. No, I'm the monster. Was he calling for me? When you were torturing him, was he calling for me? <sighs> take this from me. If you don't take this knife from me, I'm going to do something awful when you take it. Is it because he's actually being decent about it? He can't do it. Is it because he's near being like complete cock just got on with his life? Well, he is, but you know, it was easy to kill them pricks, right? It was easy to kill all them because you, you were supposed to be a monster. Oh, please, I don't know what else I'm capable of doing. Yeah, he's threatening his family, right? And let's wait, he's got a jail, probably for the rest of his life. He's got to get caught. He's got to get caught and go to jail, so I know. That's it, come on. You do well. But now she's got a deal after that. Is he? Has he got a deal? So I was, I was dead man shoes right for two thousand four. Um, Shane Meadows with Paddy Considine. Paddy Considine was excellent, not by the way, was he? It was really um, he played a cycle well, right? And it was um, it showed you that you don't need a huge budget for a compelling story, right? Like, like um, no apart from Con well. The guy for rock and roll. I'm saying, apart from it, it's not huge, massive stars, a massive set pieces, or huge special effects. Just pure storytelling, right? And it, it sucked you in because, like, you saw him, um, you saw Richard, the character Richard, and his brother, and then Richard seemed to be getting revenge for something because you saw in like flashbacks that his brother was getting bullied by these um, these drug dealer types, right? Again. If you're a drug dealer, and you're a drug dealer and mark money, like, okay, right? If you can do this and make an absolute fortune and walk away from it and enrich your life, mark your life better, that's fine. But these clowns seem to be, like, plastic gangster, plastic drug dealers, right? They're, like, scraping along. They really were. With their, and there are a lot of flats doing, like, Doing the same, like, like us 30 year olds behaving like 20 year olds, right? Us 40 year olds behaving like 20 year olds, just scraping the bottom of the barrel, right? Just trying to get past, just pointless, pointless lives, right? In my opinion, I mean, you know, it, it, just, it just seems like, uh, in my opinion, if, if you're gonna be a drug dealer, be a drug dealer and um, make your money, right? But they weren't doing it for money, they were doing it for like some kind of status, right? They want to be the then Mr. Big in town are on the scheme or whatever, and then somebody comes in who's not scared of them, and it fucking crumbles massively, right? Like I said, one of the best, my favorite quotes is, everyone thinks they're a gangster till a gangster walks in the door. Right? And I was exactly the same. By gangster, I mean like, tough guy, psychopath, right? You come across somebody who falls, a real psycho, let's see how much balls you've got. But, so, we meet Richard. Richard is coming into town and he starts taking revenge on these people for abusing his brother, right? And it seemed like him. Um, but it, didn't, it seemed like overkill, right? Because it didn't seem like he was they were abusing him. Okay, the war. Like, Sonny slapped him about a bit. 
But for the rest of the time, it was like they were giving them drugs. They were giving them alcohol. They were giving them girls. They were getting high. And it was like, oh, you swines. Like, okay, that's not good, especially for somebody with learning disabilities. But, but, killing them seemed like overkill, right? That so Richard went through them. You would terrorise them a little bit, and then we were one by well, I say one by one. It wasn't really, was it? He kills off one guy. Sonny kills the other guy. Tough tries to run, and then he kills the other three at a party. Right? And it was the six of them down. There was apparently one left, and you went to see the one it was left. And the one it was left seemed like he had real regret. Right? About even though he didn't do it, he had as massive regret about not stopping it. And you could see the regret in his face. And I think he actually moved away and tried to mock his life better, right? Instead of doing the same old shit they were all doing, little plastic gangsters, drug dealing, the local estates, he moved away, right? He, he got a job, he got a wife, he got kids, and he was trying to mark a decent go of his life, right? And I think that was why if and Richard came in, right? Richard came in and um, he says, you were supposed to be a monster. You were supposed to be a monster, but I'm the monster. Like, you were supposed to, like, if you was a monster, he's easy to kill, right? It's easy to justify killing them, because they were pieces of shit, right? Like, to Richard, they were scum, right? So it was easy to justify killing them. The next guy, you're killing a father, and you're killing a husband, and he couldn't do that, right? And all he wanted, I think, at the end, I'd imagine the plan was, for Richard to maybe kill him, then kill himself, right? To stop the voices. Because it turns out his brother was living in his fucking head, like talking to him, and he was talking to his brother. So it seemed like the plan was maybe to kill him and then kill himself. But then I guess he he came across the guy and he was like, I can't kill you. You're you're you are not the piece of shit they were, right? But by mocking this guy Calham, or was his punishment? Like, I says, the punishment, you've got to live with us, right? I says, your punishment, you've got to live with us on your conscience. You've got to live with us, possibly, if the police come looking, right? You're nay walking away scot-free, but you are walking away. I will. Is that? I will let you live, but you're nay getting away with it completely, right? But yeah, it was um it was bittersweet, right? Because Richard was the the hero defending his brother and then at the end he says because I've done some monstrous things, I've done some terrible things, I need it to be over, right? I need the the circle has to be completed. Right? If I'm gonna Kill you for being monsters, then I'm a monster. I deserve to die too. And he used the guy's family, right? He, Richard wouldn't have hurt the guy's family. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have hurt his kids. But he used, a, like, a father. He knew as a father, guy would protect his kids. So he, he, he used that threat. Right? You've got to kill him, mate. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go back to your house. Don't know. You better just end me now, right? Uh, but again, I was. It wasn't a joyful ending, right? It was... What are, we all like to see like happy endings or a story ended, but I was... I was bleak, right? I was bleak. Yeah. And I didn't have anything else to say about it. Yeah, the acting... Uh, oh, uh, the guy who played Anthony um, played it very well, right? He, he really did. He played the the learning difficulties very well because see the guy you played in rock and roller complete 180 right test and you played in bass well i'm surprised that guy's any bigger right because i loved him in rock and roller and i think he played us brilliantly what's his name tony cable cable tony cable cable yeah fucking I'm going to look at this guy up because I was, I, I liked that performance. But, um, yeah, that can, I honestly, I could possibly say good. Um, let me know what you thought of the film. 
or anything else like us, because uh, like life's nay explosions and gunshots and car chases, is it? And it's nay always happy endings, is it? This is life. It's nay. It's an exaggeration of life. It's nay my life. It's nay your life. But it's it's realistic to the grimy, seedy, dark side of life sometimes. I'm sure I've told you the story about my friend who tried to be a drug dealer. Ex-friend tried to be a drug dealer. His name was Peter. I think I've told you in other videos. If I hadn't, if you look in the story, let me know in the comments, I'll tell you the story. But yeah, I was, I was dead in my shoes. That was excellent. I'm glad I watched that. I, I did like the ending, but I didn't because it was like, Fuck's sake, man. But that's what we were supposed to do, right? Always is the point of it, right? So I will get us edited up and um, push the subscribe button. It's here, right? I think, is it? Subscribe button. Push it and see. Push the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know any other stuff like this that I could watch. And I'll catch you in the next one.